never forget. God was working and he showed up. We had originally signed nine people, but for various reasons, only four of us showed up. We all decided that this must be big with God and the enemy knew it, so he was trying to stop it. First, I thought it would be nice to donate some clothes. Little did I know that God would make it so we would be delivering 25 bags full of clothes. Second, the work was huge. We arrived and assessed the situation, and after we crashed a dinner party that was already in progress, we began to work. Reuben and Joe, the, the foreman Jimmy, and Pastor Dave began laying out two by fours for the concrete to be laid. Sonia and I began preparing our living quarters, then, then cleaned the school, all the while checking on the men to make sure they had enough water. Cleaned up the concrete spills, wheelbarrows, and shovels. Joe and I quickly found out that behind Reuben and Sonia's humbleness, they are very knowledgeable in regards to concrete and they are very hard workers. Basically, Joe and I followed their lead. We worked from 6 to 11 on Friday and Saturday from 11 to 5. The work was hard, but what God was doing was exciting, so we prayed for strength and pressed on. We finished a third of the floor. Through it all, we made lifelong friends. Pastor Dave told us that the work always seemed so daunting that it wasn't even a tempting tempted for four years. He said people would say they would come and never show up. Until we said we would come to help, the pastor put everything into motion in regards to getting the concrete delivered and the extra hands to help. The foreman said that we were his inspiration. He said because of us showing them how to complete a part of it, it turned out not to be so overwhelming of a job and they will now be able to complete it with volunteers in their church. Just yesterday, he called Joe to let him know that they had completed half the floor now. When we were done, while I sat on the ground talking to the pastor and the foreman and Joe, the Lord reminded me, me that because of his faithfulness, Cornerstone will forever be a part of the foundation of this church for generations to come. Thank you for your prayers, and please continue to pray for the rebuild of this church. Thank you. Thank you.